here and today I'm going to be reviewing Halloween from 2007. That's the devil's house. Boogeyman's gonna get me. August 31st, witness a legendary tale as it's never been told. Critics are calling Halloween terrifying. I'm gonna cut that mask right off your face. A tour de force. I know exactly where he's going. A shocking masterpiece with twists and turns around every corner. Michael, I failed you. Halloween, rated R. Halloween stars Malcolm McDowell, Scott Taylor Compton, Tyra Maine, Daniel Harris, and it's directed by Rob Zombie. The plot of Halloween is that after being committed for 17 years, Michael Myers, now a grown man, escapes from the mental institution and returns to Haddonfield where he wants to find his baby sister, Lori. Okay, so now we're finally here. Man, what a journey. I mean, I review, like just going through all these Halloween movies and that, Talking about franchises I personally love and going through like going through the great aspects of this franchise and going through the uh, not so great aspects. I mean, those were fun to talk about, of course, but uh, some of those I personally would not want to talk about again. But so now we're finally here. How I review these movies are so out of order and now uh, chronologically speaking, this is that is the last Halloween film that I've reviewed technically chronologically. In regards to how my filming order and that, and I rewatched this last night. I took some time to process it, and I got some thoughts. So let's get on to it. One of the things I actually do like about Rob Zombie Halloween is that, technically speaking, this is a well-shot movie. Actually, I, I actually do like the cinematography of this film and everything. In some aspects, I'll get to that in my negatives, but. Uh, Rob Zombie knows how to shoot the camera. I will give him credit on that one. He definitely knows how to shoot the camera in most cases. It looks really good. Another positive I have too is actually some of the actors are not bad actually. I actually like some of these actors in this, these roles. With like there's only just like issue I have with it which I'll get to in my negatives again. But the actors and how well they portray these roles is not bad. I actually fact a lot of their these actors are horror alumni. Like you get Daniel Harris, you get you get Brad Dourif, you get D. Wallace, uh, Ken Forey. So a lot of horror alumni. I do like these actors. In fact, one of them I actually met. I did met Ken Forey. He was like just one of the nicest guys I met. Actually, if if you haven't got the chance to meet Ken Forey at these conventions and that, do yourself a favor. He's just such a nice guy. But yeah, basically overall, I do like the cast of Rob Zombie's Halloween. There's just a few issues I have in regards to writing and that, which we'll again discuss in my negative. Also, speaking of cast, another positive is I actually do really dug Ty Remain as adult Michael Myers, actually. Like, like his portrayal of the shape is actually pretty good. It's probably my third favorite portrayal. I've portrayed Michael Myers in my short films and that. I take a lot of influences from different portrayals of Myers throughout the years. Uh, Tyra Maine being one of them. Great Myers. I also do like the look of Myers in this. Like, I like, like, especially the Max. Actually, at the time, back in 2007, this was probably the closest you got to having a, a new Michael Myers Max look like the original film's mask, actually. Now that's been kind of beat out by Halloween 2018 with the Max from that film. But this is probably, like just right under that. So in regards to Max, I look closer to the original film's Max, which in my opinion, I don't know. As of right now, it's probably my favorite mask. So for the original. And another positive I had was the music by Tyra Bates. Now, mostly I like the stuff that where he recomposes elements from uh, the original Halloween and they sound pretty good. Probably at the time, the closest we heard to the original Halloween film score in a while. Also, too, I like some of the various artists they put in there. Like, I like uh, Don't Feel Her to Reboot by Blue Oyster Cult. That was uh, also in the original. I also like uh, Tom Sawyer by Rush. There's just a lot of good various artists' music in uh, this movie. And also, too, the music composed by Tyra Bates is pretty good. Which, fun fact, Tyra Bates actually did compose the music. With, like, he later on composed the music for uh, both Guardians of the Galaxy. So, interesting tidbit there for you guys. But honestly, for me, 
that's where the positives stop. And I do got a lot more negatives. We'll get into that. One of the things I rather don't like about this movie is, well, I'll start with my kind of small negatives and then go into my big negatives. So some of the smaller negatives I have is like, again, like I mentioned before, for the most part, I do love the cinematography of this film. Uh, like, except in one key area. Whenever Rob Zombie does his intense moments, like his intense scenes, and now whether it be chase scenes or whatever, he has the camera so shaky. Again, it'd be like if I did this to the camera, like, oh, 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 oh. But yeah, it'd be if I did that to the camera, and you can't really see anything. So I wish Rob Zombie had just locked down those shots during the intense scene. Which he does in his sequel, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, so that was one of my positives. And another thing, speaking in regards to negatives, like I think that's the only real small negative I have for the movie, um, is Rob Zombie's writing. Man, it's bad, actually. Uh, like honestly, the biggest issues with his writing is really just only the first act and the escape scene. That's about it in regards to big issues with this writing. Um, well, there's another thing, but we'll get into that later. So, the first act, which is uh, all the prequel stuff and that, at least, you know, just basically from the start of the movie to where you see Myers in the asylum and that, that to me is like, like once it gets to Myers in the asylum, like Child Michael in the asylum, it's not so bad. Uh, but from the opening frame to right before that, it is just insufferable. Like, no joke, probably the, some of the worst things you would see and hear in this franchise. Like, it's Rob Zombie type dialogue and everything. Like, and here's the thing, I don't have a problem with cursing. I, I swear all the time. But seriously, man. I'm all broken up here, I can't work. Huh. With the big thing down turnies? Maybe I'll f the chicken, purge my f all over them flappy ass. F good, we'll have a good f time. I will. I hope she likes cripples. I will crawl over there and I will scold the f out of you. Oh, I'll get the crutches for you. Rob Zombie just took it too far here. He did. To the point where I couldn't, I can't even watch the first act of the movie. Like, in fact, during this most recent rewatch for this review, that's what I did. I just skipped past the first 40 minutes of this film. That's what I did. And then um, another issue I have with the writing is, again, how Michael Myers escapes. There's two different versions of uh, the Michael Myers escape scene. Uh, you have one in the theatrical cut, which is just kind of a generic escape scene. He's like being transferred in that and he breaks out his shackles and that and kills all the guards and everything. Which is my preferred version if I had to pick between the two, personally. And then you have the one in the unrated cut, which I did watch the unrated cut, that's just because that's all I got. And that is uh, basically Myers in the unrated cut escapes through two assholes, taking a patient into his room to rape her. And it's uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. Like Rob Zombie hard focuses on Asylum Ring in that whole sequence. And it's tough to get through. Uh, in fact, again, just like the first 40 minutes of this film, I also just skipped the escape scene. And by doing those two things, I had noticed that the pacing and everything is a lot better uh, without those two things interfering in the movie. Uh, like, the movie's a lot better for, like, like, the movie's a lot better without those two things I mentioned. 
But even then, there's still some issues. Like, for example, I could clearly tell Rob Zombie doesn't know how to write uh, for female characters at all. Um, there's a lot of times they bas he basically does this stereotypical Rob Zombie dialogue and everything. Like, I feel like Rob Zombie doesn't know how women talk, especially teenage girls, because uh, Scott Taylor Compton, Daniel Harris, and Christina Cleave are supposed to be teenage girls and everything. Uh, he clearly doesn't know how to write teenage girls, although I guess you could say it'd be weird if, like, even more weird if he didn't know how to write, like, if he didn't know how to write for but yeah, still, like, I just don't like Rob Zombie's writing in this movie. It doesn't fit a Halloween film, and it even doesn't fit this Halloween film a lot of times, and completely takes me out of the movie. Sometimes even worse than that. Yeah, but honestly, for me, those are my only real issues with Rob Zombie's Halloween. So with that said, I'm going to get Rob Zombie's Halloween a two and a half out of five stars. Now, here's the thing. I was kind of mixed on what rating I wanted to give this movie. Because there are some really good stuff in Rob Zombie's Halloween. Even some of the best stuff of the franchise. But then also, too, you got a lot of really bad stuff. And sometimes stuff that's like some of the worst of the franchise. So, it is a rather mixed bag. But honestly, there's a lot more bad stuff in this movie than there is good stuff. So, the bad stuff overshadows the good stuff. Like, I mean, here's the thing. When I have to skip... 40 minutes of a two hour movie just to for it to be watchable. Does that make it a good movie? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make it as a good movie. If I have to skip 40 minutes of a film just to somewhat, like, just to be able to tolerate watching it. Uh, and this is one of those Halloween films I pop on the least. Like, like if I were to tell you which ones I pop in the least, this would definitely be one of them. At least amongst <laughs> like the ones I pop in the least. I don't like Rob Zombie's Halloween. It's definitely out there with some of the worst remakes out there. Eventually I may do like my top 10 worst four remakes out there and maybe my top 10 best four remakes eventually. But yeah, this is definitely one of those films I do not have a desire to rewatch a lot. I only had to in order to, you know, like just make sure I had my thoughts more concrete so that I can give you my thoughts in this review. Again, some good things in here, but there's more bad things than positive. But yeah, honestly, I really don't like this movie. Um, this is probably my... Now, it's not the worst Halloween film. It's not like that. In my opinion, the worst is like, you know, films like Halloween 5 and Halloween Resurrection. It's a little bit above those, but not by much. Yeah, and it's one of those films in this franchise I really don't have desires to ever rewatch. And that about does it. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of this movie. Are you someone who loves Rob Zombie's Halloween? Because I know there's people who actually love Rob Zombie's Halloween. Or are you somebody who doesn't like it? Or are you somewhere in between like me? Like, or at least even more in between like me where there's some things you like about it or really like about it and some things you just hate or absolutely despise in this movie. Uh, just tell me in the comments down below and also to be sure to click that like button and also if you're new to my channel make sure to click the subscribe button. It actually helps me out and actually like encourages me to put out more content for you guys and everything like that especially for you guys who like watching my videos and everything and especially since this is a very recent channel and as always thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Thank you.